Hey everyone, back to the E2 Stormwatch. We're going to have a look at the risk of thunderstorms across northern, uh, northern parts, of the country, northwest parts of the country, this evening going into tonight. I'm not sure you're going to amount to too much now, uh, actually, but I'm sort of draped around the coast, these showers. They're not really penetrating that part inland. We'll get some more coming inland, of course, see, but they are going to die out quite quickly tonight. Then we're going to push up another area of precipitation uh, from the south through tomorrow morning. And I'm not sure how thundery that's going to be, but it could be a few heavier bursts of rain mixed in with that. Generally, tomorrow will be a slightly cooler thing. It's been insanely hot today. Uh, we've broken a new July temperature record, so I'll just mention that in a second. But very you go with that, just a quick say about the access links to articles on all pages. You can have a browse through widgets. You'll be helping to pay for the website if you click through the links. That's it. Uh, and uh, thanks very much for doing that. Uh, so, as I say, I've had the hottest day of the year so far. This is the tweet from the UK Met Office confirming uh, that um, the July uh, temperature record has gone as well. Uh, we got up to 36.7 at Heathrow this afternoon, which beats the record of 36.5 set in, uh, when was it? It was 2006, wasn't it? So we've had the hottest July day uh, certainly in modern history, I mean, it may have been hotter than that back in the 1800s, but uh, certainly in modern history, um, had the uh, hottest July day uh, recorded. So it's been a really hot day, and uh, for northern parts of the country, all of this has gone bang a little bit. So we have a look at the radar picture from uh, the weatheroutlook.com. You can see that, uh, as I said, the showers are mainly draped around the coast. We've got a few across the East Anglian coast and some heavy showers across the northeastern parts of England, actually, with some of the most vibrant colours uh, there, um, maybe threatening uh, lightning and thunder on the Tyne. Uh, and then going northwards of that, we've got some heavy thundery showers, thunderstorms across the northeastern parts of Scotland, and some showers that uh, are a little bit on the heavy side around these western fringes. But in Lamb, there's not a great deal going on. If we have a look at the uh, lightning detected device, we see where the lightning uh, is, or where the lightning was, so we've got some uh, it is mainly in the north, so that sort of things have turned out okay, we did say mainly in the north for uh, today's thunder, but probably not as much as you would expect um, so uh, lightning, real cluster of it across northeastern parts of England, that's probably where the worst of it is, also western Scotland seen a lot of lightning, and some across uh, central eastern parts of Scotland as well, as well. not a great deal in northwest England yet, we could see something popping off across northwest England, and uh, then a few lightning flashes um, across southern parts of Wales and going down into southwestern England this is how the high resolution Euro 4 sees things playing out through the course of the rest of the season. So this is for 6 o'clock this evening and we've got uh, the rain up in the north and west, as I say, could be producing uh, lightning and thunder almost anywhere. This doesn't show that cluster of storms across uh, northeastern parts of England though, uh, interestingly. So the model didn't pick up on those storms in the northeast of England. I think they'll tend to rumble northwards, uh, probably impacting southeastern Scotland. Uh, not a great deal across Northern Ireland, some across the Republic of Ireland, and uh, then elsewhere it's mainly dry, just perhaps a rogue storm in the southeast being triggered by the heat. Things will calm down in the north uh, as we go up towards midnight. We'll find the uh, storms beginning to die out across Scotland and uh, northeastern parts of England. And by uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, it should all be uh, much, much calmer. Although by then, we are starting to bring some showers which could be producing thunder towards central southern parts of England through the uh, channel. And they may push northwards tomorrow morning. So this is for tomorrow morning, we can see. Uh, risk of some thunderstorms in the southeast. That could impact Wimbledon. Um, and some sh uh, thunderstorms perhaps in the southwest as well. Something pushing up through the Midlands. And it all gets much more widespread through the course of tomorrow afternoon, perhaps producing some violent thunderstorms across northern parts of England and the Midlands. So missed out today across northern England you could get something through the course of tomorrow afternoon and then it'll die away again as we go through to tomorrow night with everything starting to calm down that's how the Euro 4 is seeing things let's have a look at the GFS so here's the risk of thunderstorms in the north uh, at 6 o'clock this evening particularly for Scotland and uh, northern parts of England but as we've seen not a great deal across northwest England just yet things could pop off still though over there and for western Scotland too 
By midnight, we've still got risk of storms through Scotland and northern parts of England, but I think by then things will be starting to calm down a little bit. So by 6 o'clock in the morning, virtual parts of the country will be turning dry. But look at these uh, precipitation areas coming uh, out of northern France in towards the Channel. That's tomorrow morning's rain pushing through the south coast, um, or through the Channel onto the south coast, possibly producing thunder down in the south. And then things will get quite widespread in terms of the precipitation to afternoon. Um, and because of the heat and humidity, some of this could be sparking off lightning and thunder. I've heard the convective protection charts for tomorrow actually don't look all that great, really. But I think there will be the risk of lightning and thunder simply because of the humidity and uh, how warm it has been. Temperatures tomorrow will be a little bit down, so if you haven't enjoyed the heat today, it'll be slightly cooler tomorrow. Still very warm, up to around 26, maybe 27, so around 80 Fahrenheit, but certainly nothing like uh, the heat that we've had today. Uh, and then going on to situation through Friday and into Saturday, heat reloads a bit on Friday as this high pressure goes to the east, starts to pull up the air from the south. Again, that starts to push a hot air back up from France through the course of Friday. Uh, it's either the red colours there with the upper air temperatures increasing and with that uh, increased heat uh, as temperatures approach 30 degrees 86 Fahrenheit again on Friday afternoon that could start to generate more thunder so by midnight on Saturday we've got the risk of more thunderstorms coming through the channel into the southeast of England and they get uh, widespread through the course of the night um, across England and Wales pushing their way north. Well, it's difficult to say how heavy rain will be about but uh, I think there could be fairly extensive rain with some thunder uh, mixed in, but yeah, uh, if you have a look at the convection with that very quickly, I've not got the chart up, but I can show you the convection very, very quickly for the night of uh, Friday into Saturday. You see, there is better convection really then than we've got tomorrow. So uh, I think we will have the risk of lightning and thunder coming along through the course of Friday uh, night and first thing on Saturday morning and then after that it should start to cool down more definitively as the air starts back in off the Atlantic so uh, a baking hot day today insanely hot down in the south um, and it is sparking things off up in the north but maybe not quite as widespread in the north as we was anticipating but there are some storms up in the north uh, things will rumble on up there for the rest of this evening uh, and into the night for they calm down later on in the night then a renewed push of uh, perhaps some thunder coming up from the south through tomorrow morning for parts of England and Wales uh, and then the next uh, Thundery push will probably be on Friday night into Saturday morning. If you've been uh, upset by this heat, don't forget to uh, keep your fluids topped up, keep hydrated. That's the key uh, to surviving heat waves. And uh, it will eventually start to cool down over weekend. In fact, tomorrow will feel quite a bit cooler compared to the ridiculous heat we've had down in the south today. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.